Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cotswold Bees channel. Now today we're going to open up a hive that's been closed for all winter and other than checking that it's had enough to eat, I haven't touched it. So I'm just getting ready now, I've got my smoker in the usual way, I've got a hive tool, I've also got a couple of other bits of equipment. Um, I've got some spare frames here, some new frames, because we may need to swap some frames over if we've got some dirty ones from last year. And I've also got a feeder in case they need feeding. Uh, this is a syrup feeder and now this has got a mixture of one pound of granulated white sugar to one pint of water in there mixed up thoroughly and put in ready in case we need to feed these bees. So that's what we've got. We'll go and have a look, see how they're getting on and join me over at the hive and we'll see what's happened over winter and hopefully we've got a nice strong colony going into the spring and going forwards. So let's go and have a look in the hive. So here we are out at the hive and before we start we're just going to have a look at the outside and see what's going on. So you can see here bees flying well, a couple of dead bees on the floor but nothing to worry about. The odd dead bee is just part of life's rich pattern. I can't see any pollen going in, oh there is just some pollen uh, was going in there but we missed that. Um, there is some pollen going in so that's a good sign. Hopefully that means we've got a laying queen in here and uh, you can see a bee just come out with some pollen on her nose there. That's probably rape, there's a lot of rape about this time of year. And they're flying well, so what I'm going to do now is get my hood up and uh, we'll put some smoke in and have a look at the bees. A good bit of pollen coming back here. So that's a really good sign there that we've got a, a laying queen with that one coming back with plenty of pollen on her legs. So, here we go. We'll uh, get the old specs on, because old age is setting in with me there and uh, get the hood up and we'll have a look and see how how they've done with the winter. Just because we've got bees flying doesn't necessarily mean that we've had a successful winter but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. So exactly the same as we normally do just a tiny bit of smoke in the front just to let them know we're coming. That's more than enough that's fine and now we can start having a look and see what's going on in here. So this has got a super on because I left them with half a super of honey, but also I had to take the frames out as we went through the winter and feed them some fondant. Um, I put the queen excluder on top here so I don't lose it. I can take that off. And what you can see if you look in here is they've completely finished all of the fondant. They've stripped the plastic bag absolutely bare so that's a sign that uh, they might need some more food. But there's a lot about it at the moment. The rapes in flower, cherry trees behind me. In fact, if you look at this one just behind me, absolutely gorgeous. They've been knocking seven bells out of the cherry trees this year, which has been great. So here's the hive. Crown board on top of the uh, brew box because I've been feeding them uh, in the winter. And uh, so what we'll do is just take this off now completely stuck down solid. This, is, this hasn't been off since uh, September last year. So we'll just take it off nice and gently. They've done a really good job sticking it down. And uh, I can take that off. In fact, I'll move the plastic bag out of the way because I need to dispose of that later. And I'm just going to take this off and see what we've got. Yeah, well, we've got some bees, that's for sure. That's always a good sign and one or two on top of the crown board. So we'll just pop that out of the way. And now we're going to do things in the normal manner. I've got the dummy board and you can see it's all stuck up. There's lots of propolis down here where they've stuck it all together. You can see the frames stuck together with propolis here. So they've propolised everything, loads of propolis on here. So lots and lots of good, good stuff there. So I can take my dummy board out, take the first frame out, it's quite well stuck but it's not too bad, That's, there we go, this comes out, now you can see this is a really grotty old frame and this needs changing, so I'm going to take this out completely and then I'll put a new frame in there, it's a great idea, uh, a bit late now, but um, towards the end of the season move the grotty ones to the edge 
and then you can change them in the spring. They've got a little bit of honey in here, which unfortunately will be wasted, but fundamentally that's too grotty to keep in there. And bees always do better on new foundation anyway. So let's have a look at what's going through here. Now this was a 2021 queen, so she should be marks white. You can see here they've been bringing in lots of nectar. They haven't yet converted that totally into honey. You can see the shininess there. Plenty of pollen, a little bit of pollen in there. That one's not too bad, not too grotty. So we might well give that one another year because they've actually, or at least a bit of time, because they've actually put some stores in there. So we'll do this one next. Just going through. Having a look, and again this one, not too disastrous, but they put a lot of nectar in here already and a lot of pollen, so I'm not going to change it. Looks like that'll be all right for a bit, but I have got this strange bit on the bottom here, so I'm just gonna take that off. And uh, then what I'm going to do, first time this year, I've got my muck bucket with me. Take the lid off and pop that in there. And at the end of the season, we'll melt that down. Move on to the next one. And very, very gentle. Same thing again as we've always been doing. Super gentle. That one's a bit grotty. Actually, you can see where the wires are exposed here. Um, there's very, very little in here. So actually, I might... Oh, except for the queens on there, of course. So there's the queen. There she is, marked with a white dot. And there's a lot of pollen on this side. Starting potentially of a queen cell there. No, nothing in it. A slight technical disaster. So, um, nothing in that uh, queen cell. Queen there. Possibly another queen cup here. Just have another look. No, nothing in that. I wouldn't expect them to be thinking about swarming at this stage because, um, to be honest, They've still got quite a way to go before they fill this up, it looks. Uh, nothing in that one either. So um, I've got to leave this one in because the queen's on it. She is laying. There's even some brood in the bottom of those cells. If I put it in the sun, we might be able to, if, if Carol looks in those cells there, you can probably just see the, the very young brood in there, which is an excellent sign. So I'm gonna pop her back in there. So we've got a queen, we've got some brood. And as usual, of course, she's laying on exactly the frame we don't want her to be laying on, but there you go. That's life. Have a look again, lovely temperament, these. So we've got plenty here of sealed brood. You can see here, get a little bit of an old frame here, but um, still good, lots of sealed brood here. You can see lots of pollen here, all good. Quite a bit of old comb on the bottom here, so I'm going to break this off and pop this in my bucket just to tidy things up a bit. And there we go. And pop that frame back. Again, always use a bucket with a lid so that you don't get bees in there. Moving on. Again, having another look, all nice, sealed brood, nice and flat. No sign of any drone cells as yet. That's fine, I actually got a bee. Oh, look, I've got a bee emerging here. So, do a quick caesarean for you here, so you can see what's going on. If I just do that. She'll pop out a bit quicker. I know it's a, I know it's a girl because the cappings are all flat. Here she comes, ready for the world. And it's always good to have a look at these bees when they emerge, make sure they haven't got any deformed wings. That one definitely hasn't. She's perfect, no sign of a varroa mite on her, so that's really good news. So we can move on to the next frame. Looking through here. Again, same thing. We've got sealed brood on there. If you look in these cells here, 
Just move these bees out of the way for you. You can see some older brood there that hasn't yet been sealed. So that's a bit older than the brood we looked at before. That will be sealed very, very shortly. So all this is coming on very nicely. Move on to the next one. Lots of pollen, look at that. In fact, I'm gonna try and get that in the sun, just so you can see how beautiful that, that yellow pollen is. There are lots and lots of pollen brought in there. Is that rape? Uh, it could well be rape. Um, the other thing there is there's a little bit of orange there. I don't know whether that's dandelion, that one there, bit of orange there, another orange one there, light green one there. Uh, there should somewhere very soon be some grey ones. They're a bit boring, but that's field bean. Um, and that's uh, pretty prevalent around here this year. If we look in these cells here, I don't know how well you can see them, but if we look in these cells here, we can see there's eggs in every one of those cells there. So she's been laying really well. And hopefully you can see those all right. So lots of eggs. So even if we hadn't found the queen, we know we've got one. And then we'll move on to the next one. I'm really chuffed with this hive, it's great. So we've got some stores here, lots of glistening nectar that they're bringing in, yellow pollen there. Again, plenty of pollen. Moving on further down. Nothing much on, there's a bit of pollen and a bit of nectar on this one. Uh, there we go, nothing too much. A little bit of um, mould or it might be chalk brew, but I think it's mould in there. So there's not a lot, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, if there were quite a lot in there, I'd change that. And then this final frame here, well, nothing on there at all. They haven't really started work on that at all. So uh, I'll leave that one for them to go at. So it looks like I've just got the one frame to replace. So I'm going to push all of these back. I'm gonna pick that one up. It hasn't, uh, hasn't got any bees on it anymore. Well, it's got one bee on. So I'll just pop that bee back into the hive because there's always one, isn't there, that's awkward. That's that. Put a new frame in there. Just to replace that grotty one. And then pop the dummy board back. Now, as that's quite good condition, um, I'm actually going to Put the queen excluder on top of here now. Um, I'm, there's a lot of uh, food coming in, there's a lot of forage out there, the weather forecast is good, so I don't think I'm going to feed these bees. I'm going to leave them to bring their own forage in at this stage. They're doing well. If I was in any doubt at all, I would feed them, especially as they've got to pull out this uh, frame at the end, make new cells on that. But it's all looking pretty good, so what I'm going to do is take this queen excluder. Uh, I've got some bits of grotty wax on here so I'll take the opportunity just to clean that into my bucket and so scrape this off or well, as much of it as I can. It's, it's a bit solid because it's been in there all winter. So that will do for now. Um, I'll probably do a bit better job later on when we're not filming. Uh, but that's a fine, it's pretty clean. I can put it on there. And it's a national, so my wires are running at right angles to the frames there. And I don't want to put a super on now because I want to encourage these bees to make sure that they fill out the rest of this brew box and so I'm just going to pop the roof back on except of course I'm going to put the 
ground board back on. You all spotted the deliberate mistake there, I'm sure. Then pop the roof on. So there we go. That's all done. And so we can go back and uh, we could check some more hives, but we'll probably go back and have a, a cup of tea and a, a bit of cake. So there you go. First inspection of the season. We'll be coming back to this hive all through the season, seeing how it gets on and fingers crossed. All should be well and we'll get plenty of honey off it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Enjoy your bees, enjoy your beekeeping. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next time on the Cotswold Bees channel. Thanks again. Have a good season.